Welcome back, Fire Emblem 12, Lunatic Reverse, 0% Growth, Chapter 23. This map is thoroughly overwhelming, with a ton of powerful dragons and sorcerers, and we're running out of resources. So our only option is to get through it quickly. I need a longbow user, and Wolf is objectively the best choice, but I'm bringing the Avatar instead just because I can. I need to bring four b rank staff users, and I remind you that there are zero such units at base in this game. They're here to use the Again staff, which lets the target unit take another turn. With sufficient again and rescue uses, we'll finish this chapter in two turns. Just two turns. Do you have the courage? Do I have the courage? I'm gonna need a swordmaster who can double a mage dragon with 24 speed, and that's literally only Mikolas and Katarina, but Katarina is busy as a sage. Now that swordmaster also is gonna need the right weapon. A lot of the tools from chapter 22 are no longer needed, in particular the killer weapons and master sword, so we're able to scrape together enough money to resurrect the Nils Wormslayer Forge, and it's going to be plus four might this time. Now Midia is the highest skill unit who can use the Dragon Pike, and a Swordmaster simply can't reach this first Mage Dragon, so Midia is going to start us off with the Dragon Pike we forged 13 crit onto last chapter. There are powerful Meteor Tome Sorcerers tucked away on both sides here, so we have to be careful when we're taking care of these nearby dragons. Katarina gets a barrier buff, but that's actually for the Mage Dragon she'll be fighting on enemy phase, because they do hit resistance rather than defense. Pala closes out the Fire Dragon, and the Avatar is going to chip the dragon on her side so that I can make another joke about Nagi's transformation being a giant mech. Look how fast these inputs are on these two fortifies. The fortifies were perfectly routed, and those were tough to get right. There's only 24 total uses in this whole run, and you kind of want to use it every single turn on Lunatic Reverse. I don't think I could give up a single fortify use in this run without losing turns. It really just worked out perfectly. Shoutouts to routed vulneraries in Hard 4 ZPG. Mage Dragons are completely immune to magic damage, so it's kind of strange they only gave them 14 resistance, but fine. The good news is that it can't double Katarina, but she is going to need a second Vulnerary because the dragon she fights next hits for 32. Now three agains and two rescues is going to get us set up to fight. Katarina is going to rescue Mikolas to one round a Mage Dragon with our new Wormslayer Forge, but she also could have rescued whoever used that crit Dragon Pike instead, and you could skip this Forge, but that would be a, a much less reliable strat. I love routing out crits, and literally the only alternative for the money I used on that Forge is secret books from the Armory, and that would improve reliability of the last two chapters, but only very slightly. I much prefer having this better looking strat. And all that hard work getting Essel to B rank stabs was for this moment. Pala is going to finally drop that save for us, because due to the reversal mechanic, Katarina's only option is a low percent Nosferatu crit. Mikolas was going to miss his first swing, despite having 85 hit, so I burned a random number with the Avatar's longbow. It's kind of cozy that she got a level up there after her final round of combat in the run. Shoutouts to my sniper avatar. If you take one thing away from this run... Now see, this is a big part of why I didn't want to kill this mage dragon with a crit. There's only one more save tile, and it's for the boss. So I'd have to get that dragon pike crit on top of the awful Nosferatu crit, and that would really suck. Our fourth again use goes out now, and Midia is able to reach the second save tile because she got danced by Fina. Katarina could rescue Fina instead of using a vulnerary, but that, and that would save an again use. But surprisingly, there isn't anywhere in the run I would want to trade a rescue for an again, and that would also cost you the use of the second save tile, which would really suck. If you've never seen Imulu before, it's pretty cool, but it also kind of looks like a giant fish head. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Starlight is way better. I love Starlight. Real quick, I want to mention these two isolated rooms. You can't use the Thief Staff when an enemy is standing on the chest, so with no Warp Staff on Hard 3 and 4, we simply cannot obtain the Om Staff or the Second Hammering Staff. 
But we're gonna beat this shit anyway, so join me next time and thanks for watching.